Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. This class is part of the 10 minute series. So this is going to be 10 minutes of grounding and deep stretch. We'll stay low to the ground and um, we'll start in a child's pose position and you can just peek at me first. We're gonna start child's pose with the palms pressed together and the thumbs to the back of the head. So go ahead and settle into your hips. You can bring your knees wide, your big toes to touch. Extend your arms long first, connect the palms of your hands. Bring your thumbs to the back of your head. This is a nice stretch for your shoulders. Press your forehead down into your mat. Take five breaths here, in and out through your nose. Find your ujjayi pranayama. Breath becomes audible as you gently constrict the back of your throat. If you've been on the go, try to settle into this quiet space. Try to let everything outside of your yoga mat go. Just be present with the sound of your breath and the sensations in your body. Extend your arms long, crawl your fingertips forward. Keep your right arm extended Slide your left arm underneath your right. Come onto your left shoulder, left ear. Breathe in. Let it go. Switch sides. Extend your left arm long. Right arm underneath left. Come on to right shoulder, right ear. Breathe in. Breathe out. Extend your right arm long. Press back one more time. And up to tabletop position. Stretch the spine with some cat cows. Breathe in, drop your belly. Breathe out, round your spine. Two more. Last one. Come back to a neutral tabletop position. Extend your right leg long, tuck your toes under and just stretch through the bottom of your foot, your calf, back of your ankle. Switch. Extend your left leg long, tuck your toes. Come back, tabletop. Bump your hips to the left and peek to the right, stretching your left side. And switch sides, bump your hips to the right. Look to the left, stretch your right side. Come back, tuck your toes under, and you're just gonna walk your hands to the back of your mat as you come into ragdoll. So bend your legs a lot, rest your torso on your thighs, take opposite hand to opposite elbow. This is just a nice way to really open up the backside of your body. Let your head hang heavy. <clears throat> you can wobble it around, little circles or shake it, yes and no. Option here to bend and straighten one leg at a time as you just sway side to side. Just so you're now you're getting a little extra stretch in your hamstrings. And come back to center. Release your hands onto your mat. Walk your hands forward so you're in a high plank position. Option to lower your knees down onto the floor. And then just lower your entire body down onto the floor, nice and slow. This is going to be real basic breath to movement. So we're going to do three cobras. So as you breathe in, just peel your chest up off the floor. You can even close your eyes if you're comfortable. And just connect your breath to your movements. Again, breathe in, peel up. 
Feel the muscles in the back side of your body starting to work. Last one. Keep your left hand right where it is. Reach your right arm straight off to the side, palm faces down. You're gonna roll toward your arm. Lift your left leg up and over and stamp your foot on the floor so you feel a stretch in the front right side of your shoulder. Switch it out. Extend your left arm to the left. Roll toward your extended arm, right leg up and over. Stamp your foot to the floor. And return back onto your stomach. Bring your left hand right back up under your shoulders. You're gonna press back to embryo pose. So this time, instead of knees wide, knees together. Bring your hips back towards your heels and then slide your arms alongside your body so the tops of your hands rest down on your mat. Rest your forehead down on your mat. Now you have the option to stay here if this feels really good, or if you want a deeper stretch in the backside of your body, grasp your heels with your hands. Keep that grip nice and tight as you begin to lift your hips all the way up so they're stacked over your knees and you're rounding through the back side of your body in rabbit pose. And release. Slide your feet out from under you and extend them long on your mat. Flex your feet back towards your knees, toes point up toward the ceiling, spread them nice and wide, reach your arms up. And then you can either reach towards your feet or you can start to walk your hands down your legs. So stretching the backs of your legs as well as your low back. So make sure you feel it in your low back. Your knees can be as bent as needed. One more breath here. And release from your forward fold and we're going to come into a seated twist. You can keep your left leg long, right foot up and over, stamp it to the floor, take your right hand out behind you, lift your left arm up and then hook your elbow to the outside of your knee. Got over your shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release from your twist and switch sides, right leg straight out in front of you, left foot up and over. Take your left hand to your mat and then reach your right arm up, hook your elbow to your knee, look out over your shoulder, breathe in, breathe out, and release from your twist. So you're gonna keep your left leg as it is and then bring your right foot in. So you got, you're gonna come into cow face pose. So you just bring your feet in. This is a stretch for your hips. So you can stay here upright, grasping onto your ankles, maybe forward folding. If you would like to bring your arms into the equation, just take your right arm up and over. Either hold onto your elbow or clasp your hands behind your back. So this is a great pose because it stretches your hips and shoulders at the same time if you choose to take the arms with it. And we're gonna switch sides. So just uncross your legs, take your left leg on bottom, right leg on top. Again, same options, hold on to your ankles, stay upright, forward fold, or add the arms, taking your left arm up and over, right hand to elbow, or right hand clasping behind your back. Breathe here. Release, one last stretch for your hips while we're upright. 
Bring the soles of your feet together. Hold on to your ankles, extend your spine long, and then forward fold as far as is comfortable where you feel the edge of your stretch. Release and take your feet out in front of you. Extend your arms long, reach through your fingertips, roll down onto your back. Release, take hands to your mat, draw your heels towards your hips, and then just lift your hips up toward the ceiling, breathe in, and roll down. Hug your knees into your chest. Reach your forehead toward your knees. Maybe clasp opposite hand toward opposite elbow. Find a tight squeeze here, a little ball. Big breath in, and then as you breathe out, relax everything down onto your mat. Extend your legs long, arms by your side. Let your palms face up toward the ceiling and your toes. Relax down. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it at the top. Out through your mouth. Close your lips. Close your eyes. Breathe softly in and out through your nose. Shavasana. If you do, please stay where you are. If not, hope you have a great evening or day. Thank you so much for joining me. From the light in me to you, namaste.